Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Elder Care's weekly webinar series. I am Adrienne Ostris. I am the digital marketing director here at Elder Care, and I am very excited about today's topic. And, and just want to say thank you so much for joining us live. Uh, we do these live so you can ask questions. So please find the Q&A box. Tell me good morning. Let me know where you're watching from. And even if you are able to catch the recording, um, find the comment box on there. We are always going to follow up with comments uh, wherever they're at. Uh, so thank you so much for being here live on Zoom and also in our Facebook group. If you're watching live in our private Facebook group, good morning. Give us a comment. Let us know that you can hear and see everything. Uh, Catherine said, good morning. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. That lets me know that I am good to start the training. Carol, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. I see a lot of you still joining, but I definitely want to be quick about getting into this training because I'm sure all of you know this tool has a lot of features to it. Um, and in saying that, I want to let you know that I'm not going to go into every single thing on the platform and do an in-depth training on every feature, but I am going to paint the big picture for you. I am going to show you all the tools that you have access to. And so please take notes. If there's any specific tool that you're wanting more training on, let me know, put it in the comment box. Say, I want more training videos. I want more training on Lead Center. I want more training on Medicare Center. I want more training on call recording. Anything I go over today, just put it in the question or comment box and I'm happy to follow up with you and provide you all of those resources. Rami said, good morning from Mississippi. I'm so happy you're here, Rami. Um, I do see some new names on here. So if this is your first Thursday with us, welcome. And then I see um, some regulars. Thank you so much for being here every Thursday with us. Uh, so Elder Care is an integrity partner, and that is how you have access to these tools. So if you're already working with Elder Care, then you already most likely have use this tool and are here to learn maybe some features you're not aware of or how you can be using this uh, to be more successful uh, and to manage your clients um, more timely. Uh, but we are so excited to be an integrity partner to be able to offer you these tools at no cost. So that that's just how we've always worked. Elder Care has been in this industry for over 40 years. And so we've always worked on the you know, we're just here to help you and provide you the tools that you need and just, you know, trust that you do that business with us. So I do want to throw some numbers at you at first so I can get you motivated. So agents who use Integrity's technology submit 63% more apps. I, I hope that you've seen this email and this social media post that we've been sharing with this stat. It is a true stat. We've done the work. We have figured it out that agents who are actively using this tool are submitting 63% more applications. Um, I know a lot of you have heard me say the number one way this tool helps you save time is because it's that one login. So you're going to go to integrity.com. You're going to log in one time, one username, one password, and then you're going to have access to all the tools. So you're going to be able to quote and enroll multiple carriers within one portal. You're going to be see all of your policy holders with your multiple carriers in one portal. So that is the number one way it helps agents save time. And look at that number. 60. Could you imagine if you start using this, you write 63% more applications. Uh, it's really, really excited. And I'm, I'm happy to help you uh, be able to use this tool to the fullest. Uh, Lucy said, good morning from Louisiana. Thank you, good morning, Lucy. So here is kind of an overview of all the platforms or kind of all the features that you have when you log into integrity.com. And some of you who have been using Medicare Center since the beginning, so we, we were one of the early partners with Integrity. Um, we were one of the top 10 uh, to partner with Integrity. So we've been using this tool uh, since the beginning and it was formerly known as Medicare Center. 
And so it's grown so much in the last few years. And so now um, it is called integrity.com. Uh, so some of you who have been using this platform for many years, I do want to let you know that any old bookmarks that you have going to medicarecenter.com, um, you're going to want to get rid of those. You're going to want to delete any old bookmarks um, to the platform. You're going to want to always go to integrity.com to be able to log in with no issues. It's just some heightened cybersecurity that they have put in place. So no redirects, no old bookmarks. You're just going to go to integrity.com to log in. And it's more than just Medicare Center now. You know, it also has Lead Center. There's an Integrity for Agents mobile app. Uh, there's Plan Enroll. There's Ask Integrity, all of these things. Um, so that's why it's kind of got a rebrand of integrity.com. Uh, Cheryl, good morning from Georgia. You're from all over this morning. I am excited about it. Um, so here's kind of another screenshot um, of kind of the, the features that help you be compliant as well. So the call recording is huge for this platform. Um, you know, I think it's been two years now that CMS, you know, made that rule that all of your sales calls over the phone uh, for Medicare Advantage and prescription drug must be recorded. So this platform does that. Um, and then now we're kind of growing more towards being able to manage your clients better. So there's a lot of um, like client management features for you to tag your clients, certain products, um, certain stages. That way you can easily filter through them all. Um, you can set task reminders in here. Uh, the policy management is huge. I don't think agents realize that this is in here still. Uh, if you are writing that business with us, then your policies are in here. The only thing that you need to do is link those policies to a contact and it's going to let you know whether they're declined, applied, issued, and even give you that policy number for that uh, client. You can do scopes of appointment on here. It has the 48-hour tracking, uh, which is really important because of that new rule, or not new rule, but rule that came back for that 48 hours. Uh, the quote in EAP, I mean, that's why this platform was built originally, so you can compliantly sell Medicare Advantage over the phone. Um, and then of course, our stuff is secure and absolutely protected. The data is 100% yours um, when you use this tool. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Lead Center. I'm sure a lot of you know um, some of the new TCPA rules and FCC rules happening. So there's going to be a little bit of changes uh, when it comes to purchasing leads. But the great thing about Integrity is they've already built a tool that can uh, easily follow the guidance and still be able to provide leads to you. So again, you just log into Integrity.com and then you can navigate to Lead Center through there. It's the same login um, credentials as Integrity.com. But this is where you can purchase data leads. So you can go into the marketplace. You can see it on the screen. You can see the heat maps. It's going to show you, you know, where there's high volumes of leads available for purchase. Um, the lead types are there. It's going to tell you the age. It's going to give you, you know, the description of every type to let you know uh, what you're purchasing exactly. And then once you purchase the, the data leads, they're going to automatically go into your contacts uh, within integrity.com or Medicare Center. Um, and then that way you can easily filter through the contacts, see all the contacts that you purchased, um, and then be able to run them quotes, call them, send them scopes, all within the one portal. And the other great thing is, you know, when you're purchasing leads on here, it's multiple products. So whether you're doing life insurance or Medicare, or even ACA. There's ACA leads on here 
um, you can purchase them through Lead Center. The other great option uh, is a real-time campaign. I mean, this is the ideal lead. These are leads that are calling you. You're getting live transfers of people needing help. Um, so it's really cool how they can be able to do that. And so all you have to do is set up that campaign, set your budget, set your area. And again, it's the multiple products. Um, so you can do the life, the ACA, the Medicare. And then of course, whether you're on Lead Center or integrity.com, there's the availability. So if you show yourself available, then that's how you get that real-time campaign call. Uh, so you're in control of when you receive those calls. I will just put the plug in. You don't want to miss a call uh, because that kind of puts you down on the totem pole. So if you are doing campaigns, make sure that when you're available, you are answering those calls. And again, if you want more training on Lead Center, if you're interested about how it works or you want to watch a video or you want flyers, whatever it is for Lead Center, we have it and can help you. So just put it in the Q&A or in the comment box if that's something that you're interested in learning about. Um, Susan asked, how long do we own the leads? So that's that's a great question, Susan. Um, it's going to depend on what leads you purchase. So happy to, to talk more with you on Lead Center. Next is plan enroll. Uh, it used to be called Medicare Enroll, but for compliance reasons, we have to get rid of that Medicare word. And so now it is plan enroll. This is um, a really amazing tool that you have access to. And I hope that you're either already using it or now you know about it. So you're going to start using it. Um, plan enroll is a consumer facing uh, branding that you can use. And so the great great thing about it is integrity.com provides you your own plan enroll website. And so what that does is it creates this site. You can see it on the screen and your existing clients, potential clients can go to this website. They can create their own accounts on there. They can enter in their own prescriptions. They can run their own quotes. They can even do their own enrollment. And, and when I say do their own enrollment, it is for Medicare Advantage and prescription drug, but they can do all of that themselves and you still get paid for it. It's amazing. So you can be sharing this website on your social media pages. You can create it as a QR code and put it on a billboard. Uh, you have a lot of amazing opportunities with this plan enroll site. Um, final expense is on there now. Um, it's not going to do the application, but they can still run quotes and request um, you to contact them. So it's just a great way uh, for you to get leads. And then when they do create that account on your plan enroll site, if they do add prescriptions or they do an enrollment, you're going to see that on your end. So when you log into integrity.com and you go to your contacts, you can see if anyone has created an account, you can see if any of your clients have updated their prescriptions. That is, it's unbelievable the progress the site has made. And so I know there's a lot of agents who are going to be, you know, directing their existing prescription drug clients here. Um, I've been talking with a lot of them. They're going to be sending their letters out and letting them know, you know, there's a lot of changes happening this year. Um, go ahead and update your prescriptions in this portal. You know, create an account on my site and update your prescriptions, update your providers, your pharmacy. Uh, and then that way I'll I'll be prepared for when AAP comes and I can see, you know, your prescriptions and run those quotes for you. Um, there's a lot of other features with plan enroll. Um, there's plan enroll leads that you can buy. Uh, there's a plan enroll network of agents that you can sign up for. Um, that way, you know, when people are Googling agents near them, you'll show up on this map that Integrity has created uh, for uh, potential clients to call you. So if you're interested in learning more about plan enroll, please let me know. 
I will show you in a minute where you uh, get access to that site. Is there a barcode also where they can go? So Rami, that's something that you would have to set up. You would simply just have to direct that um, QR code. You'd have to create a QR code to be directed to that link, um, which is really, really easy. There's free websites out there that can help you do it, uh, which we can help you with. Uh, the next feature I wanna talk about that I wanna inspire you to use is Ask Integrity. So this is the AI feature that is on integrity.com. Uh, it is very cool. I will say the only way that it's going to work to its fullest is if you are using integrity.com, you know, for all of the process. So when I say that, I mean, you're using the call recording, you're using the SOA, you're doing the quotes, you're doing the enrollment, you're adding the prescriptions, you're doing all of that within contacts. Um, so if you are doing that through contacts, then this AI feature is going to be amazing for you. It can give you directions to their house. It can give you call summaries. It can tell you the last time you talked to them. It can tell you their prescriptions. Um, it's, it's very, very cool. It'll even tell you based on the prescriptions you've entered, if maybe they see a specialist. So it'll put that reminder in there for you to be like, oh, well, this is a drug that can only be prescribed by a specialist. I need to ask them, you know, do you see a specialist to get this drug? This platform is very, very smart. Um, and I'll kind of show you where to find it. But again, for you to use it to its maximum capacity, you need to be using the features within contacts. Um, some more kind of key features. I talked about the seamless integration with Lead Center. So when you do purchase leads, they're going to be in contacts and you can easily filter them and see them. Uh, there are cross sell switcher and SEP Ask Integrity tags. So they put it under the Ask Integrity feature because it is um, a suggestion or a recommendation that our platform is giving you. So once you're in contacts, it will recommend based on the MA plan uh, to cross sell them a cancer plan or a hospital indemnity plan and what type of plan. And then it'll also tag them whether they're a potential switcher. So integrity, you know, partnered with deft research. So we know how to go through the data and see like based on what they have or how long they've been with you or what carrier or product they have, whether they're a potential client to switch. And so if they are, then those are definitely gonna be your higher priority clients to see first thing AEP. And then also the SEP tag. So if there's an available SEP, it'll tag them as well, which is huge. But again, for these features to work for you, you have to be utilizing contacts. And I'll show you how to get started with that in just a second. Um, Talked about that. So again, it's integrity.com now. If you haven't already registered, you will have to go to login and then sign up uh, to get an account. Um, if you're already using it, you know, make sure you're able to log in. And if you need help with that, please let me know. That is what I am here for. Uh, the other thing is not all carriers are available on here yet. I know I talk a lot about how you can write all your carriers in one portal. However, it's not all carriers that are on here yet, but majority of them are. Majority of you know the major names um, are on here. So for the final expense, uh, these are the carriers that are available. And then for the med sup, these are the carriers that are available. So if you're not already working with an integrity partner or you know don't um, have these certain contracts within the integrity family, please reach out to us. Uh, these QR codes will take you to a form to where you can request some of these carriers. Um, that way you can, quote, in, enroll them within the portal because that's the big thing. You, you can, of course, quote all the carriers at any time, whether they're with us or not, but you want to be able to actually do that full application through this platform as well. 
um, again, because so that you're not going to every carrier portal. Uh, so if you're interested in getting set up with any of these carriers with us, just scan the QR code, fill out that form, and we will help you get set up. And then, of course, here's the Medicare Advantage and PDP. It's a lot more carriers than the other ones. Uh, because again, this platform was built originally to help you sell Medicare Advantage and PDP over the phone. So here's all the Medicare Advantage and PDP carriers available on the platform. So again, if you're interested in getting set up, I mean, now is the time, right? There's blackout dates coming um, to where you won't be able to. So if you do want to start using this platform to have, I want to say your best AEP yet, uh, please scan the QR code. Let us know what carriers you're interested in getting set up with on this platform. And then now I'm going to log in live. I know I'm a little bit pressed for time, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm showing you everything that you want to see and kind of give you uh, a to-do list is kind of how I'll explain it because there are steps that you need to do. Uh, to make sure that you're utilizing it to the fullest. Um, Lucy said she's interested in plan enroll, lead center. Okay. Um, I I'll start with plan enroll then, Lucy. So for you to get started with plan enroll, um, you're going to want to create your website. It's really easy. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do that. So to create your plan enroll website, you click your name in the top right corner and you go to account. And once you're in your account settings, it's right there, agent website, copy link, nice pretty blue copy link button. So literally for you to create this website, you just copy it and paste it in a new tab. And that's you signed up for a website. Very easy. And then, so this is the link that you would be able to, you know, put in your email signature, say shop my plans now, make it a QR code, um, you know, for your client letters, create an account and put in your prescriptions, you know, very, very easy. But once you do this again, it will be your name, your MPN, your email, your agent phone number, completely branded to you. And then a little bit more on the plan and roll side, I will go into lead center. So you can see here, again, I'm gonna click my name in the top right corner and go to lead center. And it's gonna automatically log me in. And then campaigns is where you can go to set up those plan and roll leads. So you would just create the campaign you would name it, and then that's where you can do a data or a call, health or life, and then here's the plan enroll leads that you can sign up for. And I'll I'll work with you closer, Lucy, on on making sure you're you're set up for everything on plan enroll. So next, when you first log in to integrity.com. I think it was David who had called in this morning. I don't know if David's on here. Yep, David, you are on here. So he had called in this morning. He has a bunch of unlinked policies. So this is where I would start if I was an agent who, haven't, who hasn't used this platform yet. I would log in and see if I have any unlinked policies. If I have unlinked policies, I would link them. So I would click the number this number, all these numbers are interactive. So I would click the number. And then what you need to do is link to contact. And if you don't have them as a contact or have the contact created, what you're going to want to do is create the contact. So again, you're going to link them. And then if they're not an existing client or an existing contact in here, you're going to want to hit create contact. Um, which I believe, who is this? So for this, I would 
you know, create them. And to create a contact, you don't have to have all the information right away. You can always go back and do it. But to create a contact, you have to have first name, last name, and either email or phone number. And then I can say he is a client. And then now when I'm in here, I can go to his policies and see his policy data. And then also when I go back to the dashboard, it will update him as well. So now I'm down to 68 and it was an old policy. So Lucy said, I am registered. I'll go and complete that task. Awesome. Very good to hear Lucy. So again, a good place to start is to go in and then link your policies. Another good place to start, um, is just going to contacts and creating your contacts. So if you don't have any existing policies, which I'm sure a majority of you do, so that's what majority of you on this training are going to be doing after this is going in here and linking those policies. Uh, but if you don't, you can import spreadsheets um, of your existing clients. You just go to contacts and import. So if you do have spreadsheets of your existing clients or even potential clients, you can import prospects as well. Um, this is the columns on the spreadsheet that you can use. There's a template that you can use um, to get them into contacts. And then you can also add them one at a time. Uh, so maybe if you're, you're not fully working with us or a partner yet, maybe you just wanna go in here and do a test contact. Uh, so in the top right corner, you can just hit add new and then add in all the information. The great thing about this platform is that you can delete contacts on here. This is one of the only platforms that lets you delete if you need to. Um, like I said, to create a contact, you only have to have first name, last name. But of course, you're going to want to have that zip code because that's how you run a quote right? You have to have the zip code and county to run a quote. So highly recommend putting that information in there uh, to be able to run a quote. Um, I know I'm a few minutes to my time. I try to do all these in 30 minutes. So if there is a feature that you're wanting to see right now live, let me know. Just put it in the Q&A um, and I'll be sure to show you that feature. You've taken the time to be here with me this morning, so I definitely want uh, to be sure I cover the topics you're most interested in uh, because it does do a lot. And so I'm going to kind of show you um, the AI feature now. Uh, so if you are utilizing the contacts, right, you're utilizing contacts, then the AI feature is, is going to be really beneficial to you. And you can always find it in the bottom right corner on the desktop. And then also, if you're using the mobile app, uh, you'll always see the blue eye at the bottom. So you'll see here in the bottom right corner, Ask Integrity. Um, on the desktop version, it doesn't talk to you. But on the mobile app, uh, she actually talks back to you um, with what you're wanting to know. And so here's just a few suggestions that it populates. Tell me about my client. Give me a call summary. Give me a summary. So I'm going to say, tell me about my client. It's going to say what client? I'm going to say Kevin. I only have one Kevin. In here. And here is what they've found for my client, Kevin. He's 66. He was born here. He lives in Missouri. He takes three prescriptions. He likes Cox Health Community Pharmacy. Um, and I recently recorded a scope of appointment on June 19th. So again, this Ask Integrity feature is very, very impressive. It will direct you to the contact. If you are using it to do your call recordings, 
you can ask it to give you a summary of the call. Um, very, very impressive. Highly recommend that you give it a test. Um, let's see if I have any suggestions for features for me to show. I already have a website for my business. Can I link the Ask Integrity QR code to it? So if you do already have a website, yes, you can put that plan and roll website on your website. So a lot of agents, you know, will create a page on their website, you know, saying get a Medicare Advantage or prescription drug quote here, and then it'll direct to this link for them to start that process. So that's the Ask Integrity feature. Um, again, I kind of want to point out all the features that you need to be utilizing for the Ask Integrity uh, to work the best. And so that is step one, creating contacts, whether that's creating them through linking the policy data or just manually creating them, um, using reminders. Um, so if you do have appointments scheduled, highly recommend, you know, putting them in here because then that way the AI feature can always tell you when you had appointments with them. Um, this campaign column will tell you if you had uh, purchased them through a campaign. The Ask Integrity column is going to show you whether they're a potential switcher, if there's a cross-sell opportunity, or if there's an SEP. Um, Again, for this Ask Integrity feature to work, you're going to want to have those policies in here and do those applications in here. Um, so again, step one, create that contact. Once you're in the contact, this is where you're going to want to start your call recordings. This is where you're going to want to do the scope of appointment. This is where you're going to want to do the quote. This is where you're going to want to do the actual application for that plan. And if you are doing all of these things, then that Ask Integrity feature is going to be very impressive for you. Um, Brian, if you already have client that the application is approved, but coverage doesn't start to August 1st, does this stage stay as new until August 1st? Um, I don't, I don't think so, Brian. Um, I think that the stage would automatically uh, change. But again, if you wanted it to stay new, you can always change the stage manually. Well, I guess you can't change it back to new um, because I've already been <laughs> using this contact over and over again. Um, but no, normally the stage will change automatically to contacted, engaged, and then um, if you do have that policy on the books, then it would be automatically changed to client. Um, can you show the page of the carriers of Advantage and supplements? Yep, I can pull that back up for you in just a moment, Rami. Um, do I need to set contact first before quoting? Yes, absolutely, Cheryl. Anything um, on this platform, you're going to want to create a contact first. So a lot of times, you know, you can do, you can make up a first name, last name, uh, phone number, you can put your phone number in there and then put in the zip code that you're wanting to quote. Um, but yes, you have to have a contact in here uh, to run a quote because that's how, and you're going to want to do that anyways, because, you know, on the health profile, that's where you save their prescriptions. And so you want to save your work, right? So you have to have that contact for that work to be saved to. And so that's why they require you to have a contact to, to start a quote. Uh, you cannot import a scope of appointment, David, not on this platform. Uh, but there are other platforms in here that you can do that. I just didn't want to open that can of worms today. <laughs> uh, Catherine, which David, I'm happy to follow up with you after this. And I'm happy to follow up with anyone after this call. If maybe there's something you're wanting the, if you're curious, the tool does or not, I'm happy to, to work that 
through that with you. I know every agent kind of does business differently. So definitely want to make sure I'm working one-on-one -on -one with you. Uh, Catherine said, I show 99 unlinked. I just have to type in the contact info and they will link. Yes, Catherine. Yep. You'll go back to that dashboard. Um, click that number to link those policies. And then when you hit create contact, it will, from the policy linking, it will link that policy to the contact. So whatever is easier for you, Catherine, if you have 99, maybe you import that spreadsheet of your clients and then that way it'll pop up their name to link them. So you have options on how you, how you want to do that. Uh, Shirley, can I get a copy of the list of carriers to request? Yes, absolutely. I will pop that back up for everyone. Um, but I really, really wanted to just show everybody kind of the new platform and the, that I, you can start using and the features that you can start using um, for this AEP. Refresh my page. Now it's not wanting to work for me. Um, and then again, I have a separate video for the call recording feature as well. It's very, very easy. Um, but again, you're going to want to have that contact created so that call recording is linked to that contact. Uh, a few more people asked for the carriers again. Absolutely. So here's the Medicare Advantage carriers. And you can always find this in the Learning Center on integrity.com. It's in the guide in the Learning Center and kind of show you where that is um, because I'm sure there's going to be new carriers added for uh, this upcoming AEP, they just don't have those yet. Uh, but here's the existing Medicare Advantage carriers available on here. There's the QR code. If you want to get a screenshot. And then here's the final expense carriers and the Medicare supplement carriers. And again, these list of carriers are for the application process. You can quote all carriers. These are specifically the carriers that you can do the full enrollment with on this platform. Um, Catherine, yes. So if there's a carrier that's not available on here, the great, great thing about using contacts, right? I'm going to be saying that a lot. Um, the great thing about contacts is you can create custom tags. So if you're writing the policies on here, it's gonna automatically tag you know the carrier and the product that they have um, with you. But like I said, like Catherine, there's carriers that aren't available that she's writing. So what she can do is she can come in here to the contact and create a custom tag. So she can just assign a new tag she can create the tag, you know, the blue cross, because a lot of these blue crosses, you know, are uh, not available uh, for writing, but she can tag it blue cross, blue shield. And then that way, you know, when she goes to her contacts, she can easily filter out um, all the blue cross, blue shield uh, tags. She just goes to here in the top right corner to filters and she can come down here to her custom filter and it's going to show her all the clients or contacts she has tagged that Blue Cross Blue Shield. And so like we did a training last week on hospital indemnity. So if you do want, you know, to see what clients you have hospital indemnity with, you would have to manually do that, but you can do it. Um, that way you can easily organize your clients um, with all the products. So you can tag them ACA, you can tag them as dental, um, whatever other products you have in the household, you can create your own custom tag uh, for those contacts. Catherine, awesome. Uh, is United Healthcare available on here? Yes, there is. 
Um, can you do MedSup with Rx? Plan on this. Great question, Ed. Um, currently on contacts, you can only do uh, final expense and then Medicare Advantage and prescription drug. So these are the only uh, three products that you can do on contacts, but um, there is a separate platform for Medicare supplement. Um, I will say that Medicare supplements are coming soon to contacts. That is the next product we're going to be adding. But CSG app is amazing for Medicare supplements. So we still want to encourage you to use this platform for all your Medicare supplements. Um, how you get there is you click your name in the top right corner and go to CSG app. Uh, CSG Actuarial is an integrity partner, and that is why we're able to give you full access to their tools uh, within this platform. Um, so once you're in here, you'll notice CSG does do more than Medicare supplements. They do Medicare Advantage, hospital indemnity, dental vision, final expense. Um, but we, a lot of agents use this for Medicare supplements because this is the only place where you can do the Medicare supplements on here. And so you can easily run a quote on here for a Medicare supplement. And again, those um, these Medicare supplement carriers on the screen here, these are the ones you can actually do the applications with on here as well. Um, can you filter for birthdays? I don't know if that, that they've added that. I know that's been a huge request. Um, and hopefully that's something that they can add soon. Um, however, you can create, there's no limit on creating custom tags. So if you want to tag them April birthday and tag all your April birthdays, that tag, you can do that. Um, you can always, um, export all of your contacts. And when you export all of your contacts, that date of birth will be on there in a spreadsheet. And then you can sort them that way as well. A lot of options that you have on here. Uh, Brian, great on MedSet. I think that is why the client is still showing new instead of client. Okay, that might be it. And you can manually change them to client uh, because that product isn't available on here. You can you know, easily change them to client and tag them, uh, you know, Medicare supplement. And you can tag them the specific carrier um, as well. So I can go in here and create a new tag and do med sub. And I can say a carrier. And they don't allow special tags. I forgot about that. What's it telling me? Oh, no spaces either. No spaces and no special character. So that makes it interesting. So we'll do med sub. All one word. So now I can easily go back to my contacts and see all of my uh, Wellaby med sub clients. All right. Um, Stephen had asked on Facebook, do you know why my number would not be ringing to my phone anymore? Is there a setting I need to check? Um, so we can troubleshoot that, Stephen. But yeah, in your account settings for the call recording, um, you just need to make sure that, um, I like to make sure both the numbers are the same but technically it's only this forward calls to. Um, I think it's a new field that they added um, in case agents wanted to change the number it forwards to um, during the day or at different times. So you just need to make sure in your account that the forward calls to is your phone. And then I also like to make the personal information number in here the same. You don't have to. I just like to, and then um, you just also, Stephen, need to make sure you have the Medicare Center operator number 
safe to your contacts and make sure uh, that that's not blocked or being marked as spam because every time you get a call, it should be from a 254 number. But we can troubleshoot that, Stephen. Um, is there a way to add product to the client profile? Yeah, Stephen, so you can easily add um, a tag to your contact depending on the product that you sold them. So you can tag them um, Medicare supplement, ACA, dental, hospital indemnity. All right, I think I answered all of the questions. I don't see any more coming through. Does anyone have any further questions on this? There are a lot of other features on here that you have access to um, through the other platforms, but the contacts platform is going to be the one you want to use for this AEP um, because it will be able to provide you um, policy information, AI features, call recording, um, all the things in one place. So if you do want further training, please, please reach out to us. We want to make sure that you're confident in using this tool. Um, here's some support emails for the platform, but you can always reach out to me directly here at Elder Care. That is what I am here for. Um, so please uh, let me know if you need uh, further help in using this tool. I'm super excited about it. I know it's going to help you have your best AEP yet. And I will see you all next week. Thank you, everyone. Bye.